Hello everyone, we should be live on the page. I can see that lots of you have joined me already for today's stamp along. So I'm back and hopefully we're not going to have any technical difficulties like we had last time because that was a little bit of a nightmare. But hopefully the live stream should start to come through to you all now and we should have sound. I think I have unmuted my microphone. I'm really hoping I have. Um, but yes, I'm very, very excited for today's stamp along. So we're going to be creating a fabulous Christmas card using the gorgeous geometric heart die set, which is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to, it's going to be absolutely fab. So hopefully everything's going to work good today and um, the computer has had a little rest so fingers crossed we should be back to normal so thank you so much for all of your comments i can see that sharon's watching lexi wendy donna brenda um, i hope you all had a lovely crafty week last week I had a fabulous holiday um, out walking in the lakes which was lovely I have to say I think in total um, we walked about 105 kilometres last week <laughs> so we did a lot of walking climbing mountains and big hills and um, went in some caves it was fabulous so I had a fab time and um, so yes hopefully today should all be good on the Facebook live I'm hoping because I haven't been in my craft room yet this week and um, I'm hoping that I haven't forgotten anything <laughs> I'm sure I will have done and um, but I've got all of my bits and pieces out ready so hopefully you are all ready to um, stamp along at home with me too so I'm really sorry if I'm like dotting around, but I've got um I've got screens all over the place. I'm trying to read your comments and um check the other screen. But hopefully my new little setup should work. Fingers crossed. Okay then. So I'm gonna pop up the little materials list of what you're gonna need for today's project. So I'll pop it up on the screen now. So it's this one. So you are going to need the geometric heart die set. You're also going to need the sprigs and twigs stamp and die set. You are going to need the sparkle sentiment stamp and die set. The dashing reindeer stamp and die set. The um, wow embossing powder in metallic silver super fine which is just an absolute essential everyone should have that in the craft box you're also going to need the new sparklicious lux glitter in glass slipper now i'm going to use glass slipper on this project but if you want you could use crystallina instead if you've got that one but the glass slipper just adds an extra little bit of bling we are also going to be using Starlit Sky Sparklicious Glitter, which is a gorgeous holographic silver. We're going to be using the Styx 2 double-sided adhesive sheets, the Luxury Pearl Card in Christmas Crystal White. Christmas, I've got it on the brain, haven't I, today? Um, we're going to need the Geometric Christmas Foiled Paper Pad, the Self-Adhesive Jewels, the Lux Ribbon in Sparkling Silver. Now, unfortunately, our stock hasn't quite arrived yet, so I've had to substitute. So I was going to show you a little sneak peek at that, but that will be coming towards the end of the month. Um, you're going to need an 8x8 white straight edge card blank and you're going to need our matte mirror card pad in Sparkling Christmas. So while you're just having a little look through the materials there, I'm going to have a little a read through of your comments as we go. So hello to Selma, who says her goodies have just arrived this afternoon. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I'm sure you're going to have lots of fun playing with those. Yes, yeah, some of you will be starting to receive your box kit sevens if you pre-ordered last week. Oh, Joanna loves my earrings. Thank you. They were a QVC purchase, those ones. <laughs> um, Sheil says she's not crafting today, but she's watching along. Joanna loves a Wednesday. Sue King is looking forward to getting her box kit seven. <gasps> You're going to be so excited when you get that. There is so much goodness in that box and there's lots of little sneak peeks as well as to what's coming. Oh, Julia had her honeymoon in the lakes near Keswick. Oh, fabulous. That's where I was, Keswick. Keswick, Grassmere and uh, Penrith. So, yeah, fabulous. Uh, Lynn is in Norfolk. And, oh, my word, there are so many comments coming in. Thank you all so much. So... Hopefully you are all going to be watching and crafting along with me today. So have you got all of your bits and pieces ready? Have you got um, all of your mats and layers prepped and everything as well? If you have, we will be ready to go because you'll be at the same point as me. If not, 
the video will be going on the page afterwards so you can always watch it back it later and hopefully if we get no interruptions i'll pop this one up on youtube which would be fabulous and um, so you'll be able to catch up anytime now if you're just joining us for the first time today if you go on to chloe'screativecards.co.uk then scroll down to the very bottom of the page you'll see that um, there is a blog if you click on there and click along stamp along 17 your full instructions for this project are on there and there is a free pdf download as well now i know when the email first went out i put the wrong pdf on but that has now been updated and is all correct so if you haven't downloaded your worksheet for this week it is there and correct now okay then so i'm going to get started i'm going to pop the camera round the other way now i've kind of i've been playing with the camera i've been moving it around a bit today so it's all getting very technical and as well my craft room at um at the unit at work is nearly finished so while i was away that's all being painted we're just waiting for the flooring to go down and um some doors to go on cupboards and things like that but that's nearly ready too so hopefully for the stamp alongs we'll be moving into there soon too and we'll be broadcasting from there okay then so i'm going to pop the camera onto the overhead and we will get started so what we're going to do now first is we're going to get all of our mats and layers out to start with so i've got my eight by eight card blank okay i've then got my um foiled paper from the geometric christmas paper pad which is just absolutely gorgeous now i've just seen a comment coming there from monica we'll stamp along 16 go on youtube as well no monica because that one was a bit of a disaster we ended up doing it in about five different parts and i don't know how to edit them together so that one won't be going on youtube but it is on facebook but in five different pieces okay so we've got this fabulous um the foiled paper which is the first piece that we cut down so i think that was seven and three quarter inches you can tell i've just cut these down so i can remember the measurements then i've got a piece of our crystal white card and i've cut that down to seven and a quarter inches square then i've got a piece of my matte silver mirror card and i've cut that down to seven inches square and then i've got another piece of our crystal white card that i've cut down to six and three quarter inches square okay so what i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to take my geometric heart die okay so you can see how this die comes comes in three different pieces i've just seen joanna's comment we need a pad full of those foil papers please don't worry we are on it but we're having a bit of a discussion about this in the office and actually i'm gonna um, i'm gonna ask you all now on here so this gorgeous paper okay we are going to do it in different colours and things and on different colours of paper. But I was thinking what might be nice is to just have it foiled in, in a few different foils, but leave it on the white paper because then you'd be able to use your distress inks and things to ink over the top of it. But let me know what you think about that in the comments because I know I'm not very much an inky crafter. I'm a bit lazy and I like to um, just have it done for me, to be honest. <laughs> so let me know what you think. But we will be bringing out more of these because it is just lush. Okay, so your geometric heart die comes in three different pieces. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to take the geometric heart out of the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to peel this away. Like so. I'm going to pop this down into the center of our smallest square of the white card now sorry this is probably going to knock your camera off a little bit here but this is just i'm just kind of getting it straight for me so i can get the die in the middle so i'm just making sure that i've got my card stock nice and straight then i'm just placing my heart down into the center and then i'm going to tape this into place just with a little bit of low tack tape now i only use a very very small amount of the low tack because this die does kind of, it, it will sit nicely and it will hold into place quite well. Okay, so you can see how I've got that in the middle of my white square. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Gemini. So I'm going to just use my base plate and plastic shim. My die with my card cut side up. And my cutting plate on the top. Okay, whoops oh no it's all moving all right two seconds let me get that back into place okay i'm th i'm thinking that you're all liking the idea of the just the foil pattern that you can ink because we could do some really cool different foils and things on it that's what i was that's what i was thinking anyway but i will get back onto that when i'm back in the office tomorrow okay so pop that there pop that one down there little bit of tape 
Okay, and then we're just going to lay this up on our cutting plate. So I'm using my cutting plate, my plastic shim and my base plate. Okay, and then we're going to pop that, that way. And then we're going to run that through our Gemini. Okay. I think as well it would look nice on like, do you know the watercolour washes paper pad we did? On like watercolour backgrounds, that would work really well too, wouldn't it? Okay, so, we're just running this through the machine. And then we are grabbing it at the other side. So when we take this away, I love it when you pop the geometric guys out. So you can see how we've got that lovely heart in the middle of the um of the of the card there. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna just pop that one to one side. Okay, and what we're gonna do is take a piece of the matte silver mirror card now i'm not going to gut this from my previous mats and layers because i think really it works a little bit better if you use two sheets for this project to be honest um so i'm going to use that i'm actually wondering if do you know the piece that's the i'll just fit in there if you've got our paper pads at home you'll know that they have like the watercolor across the front so this this piece of silver is actually just the perfect size to get the little frame so what I'm going to do now is, is it the perfect, oh it might just be, oh no we can do it. Right so we're going to create a little heart frame that's just going to go around the edge of here. Okay so what we're going to do is line our die up like so and then take that into place. I'm using the two outer edge dies here. Give me two seconds let me lift that up sorry. So I'm using my two outer edge dies going to line those two up like so and then run that through my machine and that's going to cut like a very very fine um silver frame okay so pop that through like so so that's going to go straight back through the gemini again so again, these are thin metal dies, so they will work in any of your die cutting machines that you've got at home already. Okay, so that is just running it through. And we lift that out. Okay. You've got that lovely little silver frame that we're just going to pop around the heart to give it a little bit of a framing around the edge. Now I'm not going to stick that on yet, I'm going to pop that to one side because we're going to do a little bit of background work first. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our anti-static bag to start with and just give our card a really good dust all the way around the edge like so just give me two seconds because i think that my computer has just frozen let me just see if i can get it back up so that i can see your comments there we go that's better right there we go okay so just going to dust around with my anti-static bag and then what i've done is i've taken let me just grab this in to show you sorry you're getting a lovely view of my top there and just reach over and grab this is i've taken the little cluster of snowflakes that you get on the reindeer stamp plate can you see this one here so I've just taken that little element and it is beautiful for creating like a border around the edge of your project so what you can do is go in okay and you can take your clear embossing ink pad Right, ink up my stamp. I'm just taking my stamp to the ink pad because it's just a small one, so it's nothing too much to stress about there. And then what we're going to do is just work our way around, and we're just going to stamp around the edge of this piece of um, card to create a border. So to do that, I'm going to stamp it down once. Then I'm going to take my metallic silver super fine embossing powder, and I'm going to just cover the image. So I'm going to do one at a time and cover it with my powder so that I can see where I've been. So I'm just going to work my way around, like so. Okay, not being too careful, it's going to look really pretty, even if you don't keep that line quite straight. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take my heat gun, I'm just going to heat this up. So holding my heat gun still,
I'm just heating up those snowflakes just down the side there. Like so. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is re-ink my little snowflake cluster stamp. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that down. I'm going to cover that with my metallic silver embossing powder. I've just got a bit of a fingerprint going on there. So we'll just give that another little dust. Okay, so let me just work our way around. Again, I'm just doing one at a time. Then I can pop my powder on. And I can see then where I've been. I'm going to heat this one up again. So just holding that heat gun still. As soon as your embossing powder starts to change, just move the heat gun. Okay, and then we're going to do exactly the same up the next side. bit of a stamp going on there, bit of a stamp going on there, just a little bit more up here. Okay, so I'm going to dust that off and then we're just going to heat up. And then we're going to do the top so you can just see how we're creating like this lovely little snowflakey frame all the way around the edge so we're just going to keep on building this little frame up so that one there just keep going a little bit in there So that looks pretty good to me. Now where I've gone a bit off there, can you see how I've got a bit of a gap going on here? Please don't panic because I'm going to show you um, how we can, what we're going to do in the background as well. So this is literally just kind of creating a little base. There we go. So we've got that all nicely heated up. Okay, and then we're going to pop this back into the jar. I'm going to grab the lid and let me just see. Pack it, let me just check. Right then. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in with our Arc Litter Dries Clear Glue. Okay, which is this one here. So you buy your Arc Litter Dries Clear Glue and then you can get the little metal tip separately, okay? I would definitely, if you're going for it, go for the metal tip as well because it makes such a massive, massive difference to your projects. It just means that you can get into all the detail and all of the little fine areas. So I'm going to just get the end off there. And then what I'm going to do is just go in and add tiny little dots of glue. Just randomly. I'm not kind of being too precise i'm just randomly adding in the little dots of glue to the background like so so if i hold that up to the camera can you see the detail there you can see how i've just randomly put those little dots okay what i'm then going to do is i'm going to take our gorgeous sparklicious glitter in glass slipper okay and you can see this is like a lovely silvery white it's like a chrome based glitter so it is really really beautiful for using for your edging for using on backgrounds as well it is a gorgeous color it's going to sprinkle this over it's really nice for christmas projects as well because it kind of looks frosted 
which is always really pretty. So I've sprinkled that over. I'm going to pop that back into the jar. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just continue to add in a few little dots just into the background like so. You can see how fab this then looks, okay? So we're going to just work our way around, adding these little dots in. Okay, so that's all looking very good to me. Okay, and then we can just see how we've then got that little bit of sparkle just on the border there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pop that to one side. Okay, I'm going to pop that back into the jar, my glitter. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to stick that little heart frame just around the edge. So to do that, I'm just going to grab my little framing that we I cut out earlier. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the dries clear glue. I'm just going to run a little bit just around the edge of the die cut here. So just working our way around like so. Then we're going to pop this down on our project. So just get this stuck down into place. pretty good to me okay so you can see how that's then starting to come together so you can kind of see the basis of the card here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to just work on our mats and layers then that'll just give the background a little bit of time to dry so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a chisel tip glue pen okay which is we've got these coming in very very soon okay and what I'm going to do is just pick up my glue pen I'm going to drag it along the edge of my card and then I'm going to take um, my glass slipper glitter and just sprinkle over the edge there. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can shimmy my glitter that way. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this without swapping, <laughs> swapping a piece of paper. Okay, so that bit there. I'll do the next side. And then we'll do the next side again. Lid on my glue pen. Okay, and then you can see how we've just got that little bit of sparkle just going around the edge there. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to one side and then I'm going to grab in my next piece, which is my crystal white pearl card. I'm going to do exactly the same with this piece as well. We're just going to whiz around the edge using our glue pen and cover it with our glass slipper glitter. using your glue pen just dragging it along each side like so and then covering that again with our glitter okay I'm going to pop this into the jar go straight back in and then pop the lid onto there. Okay, we are getting there. I've just got a bit of a mark going on. So I'll get rid of that. So the paintbrush. Right then, so we're going to start and get our card all nicely stuck together now. I'm just going to grab in 
some foam pads from over here ready for the mats and layers okay so we're going to start off by taking our lovely foiled paper and we're just going to glue that first layer down flat okay so to do that i'm just going to use a little bit of my kalal this is just the all-purpose glue a bit of that on the back like so and then we're going to place that down onto our card blank okay and that's then just going to have a little bit of time just to kind of set and dry so that's that bit done right the next piece we're going to mat and layer these two together but before we do that what we want to do is cut a square of a double-sided adhesive sheet to go in the middle so that square is six and three quarter inches from memory so if we cut let me work this out for you with the size for the double sided adhesive sheet then you won't waste yours at home so let's have a little look i reckon if we go over six by six that should be oh even smaller right so we're then going to cut a piece of double-sided adhesive to five and a half inches square okay and that's going to go in the middle of our matte silver mirror card okay so what we're going to do is take the back off of here and we're going to stick this square into the middle of the silver matte mirror okay then we're going to take the back off just get it make sure you've got it nicely stuck down as well i always like to spend a little bit of time just pushing any air out just give you a more professional finish okay then we're going to peel the back off like so and then we're going to grab in some of our beautiful starlit sky glitter okay and what we're going to do is take this and I'm using, I'm just going to use a little scoop just to sprinkle it over. Okay, and then you can see how we've covered that with the starlit sky glitter now what i'm going to do i'm going to grab in my scrap paper again and i like to kind of press it in a little bit with the flat of my hand okay and then tap away the excess then you're not wasting any extra so what i then like to do is take a paintbrush just give it a little brush just around the edges is like a makeup brush actually just brush that off there we go now you can see how you've got that fabulous sparkle all in the background okay so what i'm going to do is pop this glitter that's left over back into my pot Okay, let's get rid of this here. It ties you round. Okay, and we are going to just start and stick our mats and layers together. So we're going to stick the matte silver mirror onto the white crystal white pearl card. And I'm just doing that with a, a, a glue just so it's flat then. Okay, so I'm going to pop this down under here. Pop that into position like so. Okay. And then when this goes on the top, you can see how you're going to get all of that beautiful glitter shining through. Okay, so what we're going to do next is flip this over. And we're going to add some foam pads just onto the back. These are the three mil ones that I tend to use. They are out of stock at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be getting some more very soon. So I'm just going to peel the backs off these. Again, I'm so sorry, my fingernails 
They're so short, I'm struggling a bit at the moment. There we go. Just get the backs off of these, like so. Just peel these away. And then you can just see how we can stick this on to our base card. So, whoops. Go on to there. What I would do is gut the cedar out of that foiled paper as well because it's such a waste to kind of cover it up with these um, bits and pieces. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get rid of all this silvery glitter to start with. That's job one. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my chisel tip blue pen again. I'm going to drag it down the side of my card and I'm going to cover it with my glass slipper glitter. I'm just going to go down the edge of my card like so and then cover that with my glass slipper. So just work our way around. Okay, and then we're going to stick that up, stick that onto our card bank using some foam pads. I really need to get myself some more little lock and locks to put these new glitters in as well. I haven't got around with doing that yet. Okay, so let's pop the lid onto there and let's flip this over and get some foam pads on the back. So I'm going to pop that there. Take our foam pads again. Just gonna add these on. I don't think I've got that heart quite central over on the card. Oh well, never mind. Okay, and then where I've got little gaps here, I'm gonna just cut some foam pads just in half just to put in there. So all the products that I'm using are available on the website, chloe'screativecards.co.uk. So we do have the double-sided adhesive sheets and everything in stock, I do believe. I've noticed that lots of you are asking stock questions as well. Um, I, I, I don't know, I literally don't know the dates for, like, for everything. Um, the acrylic blocks and things and glue pens will be coming soon. I haven't got a date for those at the moment because um, obviously with the current situation and things, there are still kind of delays and things like that. I know that lots of you are kind of waiting for some of the flower stamps and dies to come in stock at the moment. Unfortunately, we haven't got those on order at present because um, we are moving over to Christmas stock at the moment and we've only got so much space in the warehouse to store everything. Um, so best thing to do is hop over onto the website and then pop your email address in for the stock notifications and you will then get an email when anything comes back into stock okay so let's get the backs off there and what we're going to do is place this down onto our base card like so Okay, so you can see how nicely that's coming together. I'm just going to pull that geo heart up a little bit there. You can see all the sparkle and the bling as well. Okay, so I'm going to pop these into the backings into the bin. Let's get rid of those. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to do our sparkle sentiment. So I've just got a piece of the crystal white card here. Okay, let me just grab that in. But that that other bits for something else in a moment okay and i've got my sparkle sentiment that i've already popped onto my acrylic block here and then i've just got my this christmas and i'm going to stick that down onto this acrylic block here as well just making sure that i've got that pretty straight 
Okay, sorry, I keep leaning in and you're getting a lovely picture of my roots today. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my anti-static bag to start with, and I'm gonna give my card a little dust over, like so. And then I'm gonna take my clear embossing ink pad, I'm gonna ink up my sparkle sentiment. Okay. And I'm going to place that down and press. So you want firm, even pressure all over the stamp. And then we're going to lift that off. Okay. And we are going to take... We just have a little hunt. I've buried it somewhere. The Wow Metallic Silver Super Fine Embossing Powder. Hmm. Very... Oh, there. Put it on the windowsill. <laughs> so we're going to sprinkle this over. Tap off the excess. Okay, and then this is going to go straight back into the jar, like so. And then we're going to heat this up using our heat gun. So just holding the heat gun still. Then as soon as that powder melts and changes, we are just moving the heat gun over the image. Like so, there we go. So then you can see how we've got that sparkle all nicely embossed. Then I've got my sparkle die that I'm going to pop directly over the top. So this is just the outline one. I'm going to use a little bit of low tack tape just to hold that in place as I run that through my die cutting machine. Okay. So it's going to go there and then we're going to run this through our die cutting machine. So again, I'm just using my base plate, my plastic shim, my die cut side up and then my um, cutting plate on the top. I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. So just running that through my Gemini. And we'll just wait for that to pop out the other side. Take that out. I'm going to grab my little guillotine in now. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp it this Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to stamp and emboss that. So you can see. I've got my sparkle sentiment ready to go across the middle. Okay, so I'm going to grab in my anti static bag with that little dust at the bottom, and then I'm going to grab in my this Christmas sentiment and ink that up with a little bit of clear embossing ink. And I'm going to stamp it right in the bottom corner, then it's less cutting out for when you come to trim it on your guillotine. So I've got my um, metallic silver super fine again and with these finer te of fonts like for your this Christmas and the little parts to build your sentiment up the finer embossing powders definitely work better so I'm going to heat this up now and there we go and you can just see how nicely that has stamped and embossed so I always just like to give it a couple of seconds just to cool down before you pop it in your guillotine because the amount of times that I've popped it in and smudged the embossing powder because it's still being warm. Okay, so it's that trimmed down nicely and then I'm going to take a little bit of a matte silver mirror. Okay, and then I'm going to pop that one just into the bottom corner there. And then I'm going to trim this part off up there. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we've just matted that onto some mirror card. And that's going to go in the bottom corner down here. 
So we'll start to build this up a little bit now. So I'm going to use some foam pads to stick my This Christmas down. A little bit of foam on the back. It's going to go onto there. It's going to get stuck onto my card blank there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of foam. Actually, I'm going to do a double wear. Probably best. A little bit of foam there. Hmm, that's a little bit thick. Let's take a little bit there. A little bit of foam there. And then I'm going to grab. So basically, what I'm doing is building up like a double double layer of foam pads like so okay and you can see how our cards are starting to come together now so what i think we'll do next is we'll build up a little arrangement with a bow at the top okay so oh that's what i've forgotten my 3d glue gel that's what i've not brought with me oh well never mind don't think that i have another one lying around in here unless it's lurking right here oh i think we might just have one oh it's a bit dried up let's see we'll, we'll cut the end off i've found one it's fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the fabulous, uh, the sprigs and twigs, sorry, foliage, okay, just turn that end bit off there, and we are going to, I've had, I did have this all out prepped, I did have my little sprigs and twigs out, there it is, it's hiding, let's get rid of that off there, pop this one on here, okay, we're going to stamp three of this little Friggy twig thing. Okay. So again, clear embossing ink pad. Go down one. I'm going to just do the three because I can roughly kind of see where I'm stamping. Three. Okay. And then I'm going to take my metallic silver super fine embossing powder. I'm going to cover these over. Like so. Take a little paintbrush just where I've got a few grubby fingerprints there. Next, this is going to go straight back into the jar and we're going to heat this up. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to hold the heat gun still. And then, as soon as that powder melts and changes, I'm just going to move my heat gun over the image. can see how they are all nicely heated up there then we're going to take our die we're going to place this over the top now this particular die it does leave like a little border a little white border just around the edge but that makes it much better for when you're stamping and embossing as well so again i should have done this before i should have cut my piece of low tack but never mind i didn't so i'm going to pop that there Put that across my die and then again what i tend to do is i tend with my gemini to just use my base plate my plastic shim and my cutting plate on the top and the reason for that is i think it's it just it doesn't put quite as much pressure on the stamp and embossed image so sometimes when you die put an embossed image you can kind of get a little bit of the embossing powder cracking off whereas when you do it this way i tend to find that it doesn't put quite so much pressure on your um, embossing so it doesn't tend to cause it to crack too much okay so i'm going to take that little little leaf out and then i'm going to do the next one so i'll just line this up over here and then quickly run it through so i've got to do another one after this okay and then we're going to get a little bit of glitter okay 
don't worry, your screen hasn't gone blank. I am still here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it all to run through the machine. Okay, and see if you if you're asking about my little guillotine, it's just a little tonic one. Um, they do them in all different colours. So I did have, I think I like pink one before that one. Um, but that one for some reason is blue. Okay, so I'm gonna just pop that onto there. Run this through again. There we go. So it's just running through the die cutting machine. And then this is the final a little leaf. Okay. Take this out. We'll be able to see that we've got those three leaves all nicely cut out. Okay. Now what I like to do is I personally like to take my scissors and then just cut down this point here. Between the leaves. And then I just like to give them all a little bit of a pinch just between my finger and thumb just to give them that a little bit of kind of shape to them. It just gives a little bit of dimension. Okay. You can see how that's coming nicely together. It's a little bit harder when the stamps are embossed onto card because obviously it's a little bit thicker. Okay, so it's all nicely built up together so that one let's just keep going building this up okay so we've just kind of squished those petals a little bit I'm going to grab in my Starlit Sky Glitter again and I'm going to take my Dries Clear glue. I'm just going to go in and just scribble. Again, you don't have to be kind of too careful about it or anything. Just scribble onto the leaves. Okay, and I'm going to take my little scoop and just scoop over the top like so. that one okay and we're just adding our glitter onto there you can see it just adds that real sparkle then to the leaves when the light catches it okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to just start to build up our little like arrangement at the top of the heart I guess so I've got a little double bow here like I say I was going to use the Lux ribbon but unfortunately the stock hasn't arrived yet so I haven't got any that I could actually use so I've just found like some lilac -y silver ribbon that I had in my craft stash so I'm going to pop that one onto there let's just arrange that a little bit there but also pop that down onto there and I'm going to use a little bit of 3D glue gel Okay, so to do that, I'm going to just, sorry, this is a really old tube of glue gel. So I'm just going to take the tip off there and then grab a little bit of glue. Stick that onto the top of there. And then we're going to start to stick these little leaves in behind. Now I'm going to trim the end off here. And then just give me two seconds. I'm going to just pop, hopefully, a little bit of glue gel back of there it's a lot easier if you leave your elements all to dry as well to be honest before you assemble I'm kind of assembling these while the glitter and the glue is still a little bit wet which doesn't really help matters so that there I'm going to cut a little piece off here pop this under there Okay. Just push that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
Should we pop that? No, I'm not going to put that one in, actually. Take that out. Right, so we've arranged our little leaves at the top of the heart there. And then I'm going to grab a little glue, a little um, jewel, just to go into the middle of the bow. Like so again, you can kind of fiddle about with this and play with the leaves, get them where you want them. Okay. And then what I'm also going to do is, you can see how nicely that's starting to come together. I'm going to take, I think your little reindeer you set, you get some little dice for snowflakes. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm just going to see if I've got any wipes because I've just got glue gel all over my mat. Right. Doesn't appear that I do. <laughs> see if we can just scrape this away. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to die cut out some of these snowflakes. So to do that, I'm just going to grab in my Gemini again. I should probably tape these down, but do you know what? We'll risk it. We'll run it through and see what happens. I'm just going to run those through my machine. There we go. And we'll just wait for those to come out the other side again. So we've got one little set here. There. Do exactly the same again. I'm gonna run it through so then I end up with two two little lots of snowflakes. Run through and grab it at the other side. And I'm going to take this away. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to take the tiny card reindeer you stamp. There we are, I knew I'd had them in my hand. Just get rid of a bit of rubbish here. Right, so we've then got these lovely little stamps and you'll notice that these stamps all actually match up with the die cut shapes. So what we can then do, is we can take some of these, a little dust, so that's that one and that one. It's a little bit fiddly doing this, but they do look fabulous when it's done. And I personally find these a lot easier to die cut first and then stamp. And to be honest, if you don't get them bang on in the middle, they still look really, really pretty on your project. It doesn't matter kind of too much. So, just grab my tweezers just to hold that. Oops. I'm going to sprinkle over. And then we're going to heat these up. Hold that still. And there we go. That's that one. That's that one. So we've got two, if I just pick one up to show you, you can see, there we go, then we've got the little embossed snowflakes, okay, so these are then ready to go onto your project, so we'll pop those to one side, and we'll just continue on building up a couple of these, so that's that one done, so let's pick up, I think this one matches with that snowflake there, so I'm going to give that a little dust, Okay. Line that one up there. Do exactly the same with the next one. Line that up and press. Okay. And then we'll lift this up. 
after it with our embossing. side and then we'll just do another couple of the different snowflakes but these are such nice little embellishments like you wouldn't think it they look so plain but when you start to use them they are so so pretty and they're just fab just for embellishing tiny things and these even oh this one always gets me fresh let's just try and line this up here Even if you just use them to stamp your little backgrounds and things, they work so, so incredibly well for just creating little backgrounds and things like that onto your projects too. Okay, so. do another couple a couple of the smaller ones sorry i get really carried away when i start doing <laughs> when i start doing these i just love them right so do this little smaller one as well so it's so cute for building up but like i say even if you just want to use these little individual snowflakes to like make your own little backing papers up and things like that they are so so pretty Okay, the last two little ones, just smudged that one there, the embossing powder was still a bit warm, never mind, right, this one here, okay, so we'll just continue on building these up, it's that one, and then I'll do this one as well, so we can just keep adding in the little detail under the snowflakes okay and then you'll just be able to see how this all starts to come together let me just grab that with my tweezers and heat that up how they all then all start to work build into the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in these little snowflakes into the background so i'm going to use a little bit of glue gel just to do that so we'll just start to add what i tend to do is just go in and just randomly add little little dots of glue into the background Try to pick these up, it's a bit of a challenge. And pop that one there. But then you can see how you can really start to build up the depth and the dimension on this project. Okay, so that's going to go on to there. It's going to go in with a little couple. But I think this really kind of just finishes it off nicely. So you can kind of just go in and add these in. 
like so. One, oops, not one there. A little one up there. Okay, and then we're going to just grab some little jewels. Okay, and we'll just pop a blob of glue into the middle of each of these snowflakes. Just pop a little blob. Like so. I'm going to just build these up. Little jewels. And then that just adds that extra little bit of sparkle. And probably just randomly add a few more. Because it is, you know, it is a bit blingy, isn't it? It is Christmas after all. Just pop a little dribble there, one there, okay, oh, I'm just pinging them across the table now, it's fine, there we go, and that would then be your finished project okay so hopefully you have all enjoyed making this card today of course you know what this could be brilliant for like a winter wedding or it could be lovely for an anniversary card as well or even just a wedding card if you substituted the snowflakes for some little hearts you could definitely do lots and lots of different things with this project and it would still look really really pretty so you can see how everything ties together really, really nicely. And you can see how it all comes together too. So hopefully you have all enjoyed your pro the project this week. Um, and we'll be back next week. Next week, what I think I'll do, because I haven't really talked about it much to you, because obviously we've been on holiday and things. Um, the Issue 7 box kit, that came out on pre-order while I was away. Um, and unfortunately, the bundle with the limited edition stamp has sold out. And because it's limited edition, we won't be getting any more, okay? Because I know a few of you seem to be holding out waiting to see if we get some more. But we won't be, okay? Because it's limited edition with the stamp, we won't be getting any more. We did sell out of the big I Need It All bundle as well. But what we do have in stock is the box kit on its own for £12.99, okay? And that's available now on the website, Chloe's Creative Cards dot co dot uk but please do be quick because there are not many not many left at all and um, so hop on over and have a look so thank you all for joining me today and well, just while i'm thinking as well because just before i went away we popped a post up on the page as well to say that we've been nominated in lots of categories in the craft awards which was just amazing and such a surprise so thank you all so much for your nominations and um, the voting is now open so if you would like to vote of course you can do the details are all on the page and what i'll do is i'll pin the post to the top so that you can all have a little look so what we'll do next week i think is i will show you box kit seven i'll show you some of the projects from it and then I'll maybe just do a couple of demonstrations for you, showing you how to use some of the different elements and different bits of pe different bits and pieces rather than a full on stamp along project. OK, so next week it'll just be a bit of a bit of a crafty session, won't it? It'll be nice. Bit of a change. We'll just do a bit of crafting, crafting together. It'll be good. So thank you all so much for joining me. I'll pop today's video up on YouTube later and um i'll get it up on the blog as well after we finish today's live of course it will stay on the facebook page and um, but any of the products that we've been using please do hop over at chloe'screativecards.co.uk and we have got them all in stock so i will see you again here next week at two o'clock where we'll be having some crafty fun with the issue seven box kit we'll be using so i'll see you then bye